Hi drama nerds, today's drama is about a movie titled, Splice. Two young rebellious scientists are told by their employers to halt groundbreaking work that has seen them produce new creatures with medical benefits by splicing together multiple organisms' DNA. And the company is not willing to take it further. So they decide to secretly continue their work, but this time with splicing in human DNA. At the beginning of the movie, we see Clive and Elsa manage to create a two-lines male creature. They call it Fired and they put him beside Ginger, who is a female and has been created before. Every Everyone looks at the first meeting of Fired and Ginger with surprise. They make something like a ball with their tongues to communicate with each other. In the next scene, Clive and Elsa have a meeting with the manager of the company, whose name is John. John is very happy with the result of the experiment and wants them to start harvesting the protein as soon as possible, because they need to make the medicine. Elsa suggests to test this combination with human DNA. She says that if they are successful in this experiment, they can cure diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and many kinds of cancers. But John, who is afraid of the consequences does not accept Ilsa's proposal. Ilsa insists and says if they don't do this another company will take the opportunity soon, but the manager is not willing to take the risk. They leave the manager's room disappointed and angry, but they are not going to give up. Now that the company does not allow them to test their ability, they decide to do it by themselves in the laboratory but in secret. Elsa takes the DNA of a human and starts testing it. After their combination fails several times, Elsa suggests to Clive that they take another person's DNA. She gives a sample to Clive and says that it was the best human DNA she could find. Finally, they find the right temperature of the composition and succeed. Clive doesn't want to continue project any further than this, but Elsa has made her decision to push it forward. She locks the door on Clive and puts the cells they have created in the machine to turn it into an embryo. Clive tells Elsa that this is illegal and they might get in trouble, but Elsa insists and says that she just wants to see if they can create a fetus, and only then they will stop and destroy it without anyone noticing it. Finally, Clive gives up and turns on the device. When Elsa checks the machine, she notices that the fetus is growing rapidly. They return home at night but receive a message from the laboratory that it's birth time and they immediately return there. They are very surprised because this process should take at least a few months but the growth rate is incredible. They are trying to give birth to the fetus but the machine has a problem. Elsa puts her hand in the bag so that she can do it manually but her hand gets stuck in there. She screams in pain and Clive has to break the glass to save Elsa and give birth to the fetus. When the device breaks, a cute creature falls on the ground. Clive covers it and goes to Elsa. The little creature bitten Elsa's hand and her condition is very bad. Elsa has a seizure and Clive has to give her an antidote to make her feel better. The next day, Clive and Elsa struggling to decide that they should kill the creature because it is dangerous. But Elsa doesn't want to do it for now. When they get there, they see that the fetus is dead. But when Elsa opens the door of the machine, she notices that it is just a shell of a fetus. Just then, there is a scream and she sees the fetus is hanging from the ceiling. Clive asks Elsa to come out of there, so he fill the room with poison gas. But Elsa does not listen and continues to do her job. She takes his hand towards it and it comes towards Elsa. Clive enters and forcibly takes Elsa out of there, then fill the room with gas to make it go unconscious and to take some tests. After the test, they find out that it is female and it is growing fast, and at this rate, she won't be alive for a few more months. So they decide to make the most of this opportunity. In the radiograph, they see two glands in her body, which confuses them, and they find the creature has a sharp poisonous sting at the end of her tail that it uses for defense. A week has passed since her birth. Clive tries to feed her but she doesn't cooperate. Then they find out that she only likes sweet foods. Elsa treats her like her own daughter. She tries to educate her and teach her new things. She dresses her and tries to teach her to read. The little creature recognizes the word nerd from Elsa's t-shirt. Elsa is amazed by her intelligence and names her Darren, which Clive tells Elsa that she is treating her like a pet. They start arguing and Clive's brother hears them. Just when he enters the room, Dren attacks him, and Elsa tries to calm the girl down and take her away from him. Clive Clive tries to explain the matter to his brother who is angry about their illegal work. They know that they can no longer keep Darren in the lab, so they decide to take her to the basement. Darren is sick in that basement, she has a high fever and is short of breath. In order to lower her temperature, Clive puts her in a tub of water. They thought she is dead for a moment, she starts breathing under the water, and they realize that the glands that were seen in the radiograph are amphibious lungs. Some times passed by, and Dren is a big girl now. They made a room for her in the basement. Elsa brings her one of her childhood dolls, and we realize that Elsa had a difficult childhood. That night, Elsa and Clive sleep together in the laboratory, and Darren sees them from behind the curtain. Now it's time to present Ginger and Fred to the media. They do the presentation together. But when two beings are brought to meet each other, they attack and brutally kill each other. Clive and Elsa explain the problem to the manager. It turns out that Ginger had changed her gender and became a male. 
Because of this, two males fight and absolutely destroyed each other in the presence of all the rich fellows who were ready to invest in this project. John is very upset about this incident. He tells them that they should finish their tests as soon as possible and produce the embryo they want. After this mess, they decide to take Dren away from there because their secret may be exposed at any moment. They take Darren to the old house of Elsa's mother, which is left somewhere isolated in the dead forest. They are taking Dren to the warehouse, she is afraid and runs away. They follow her and find her where she has caught a rabbit and is eating it. Elsa blames Dren for what she did. Darren gets upset with them and jumps into the water tanker. Clive says it's better to leave Dren alone and go home. Elsa enters the house and we realize that when she was a child, her mother left her and she had very difficult childhood. Dren doesn't eat at night and writes the word tired and out with alphabet letters. It means that she is tired and wants to go out. When Elsa tells her that she can't get out of there, she goes wild and escapes through the skylight window. They quickly go to the roof so that Dren doesn't get hurt. They see that Dren has grown wings and wants to fly. Clive tries to calm her down and tells her that he loves her. When Dren hears this, she comes to Clive and hugs him, and she agrees to go down with them. The next day, Elsa decides not to go to work and stay with Dren to spend more time with her. She puts makeup on Dren and tells her that her mother did not allow her to put on makeup. When she opens her drawer, she sees that Dren has drawn some pictures of Clive. Dren takes the painting from her hand and leaves. Elsa sees that Dren has found a cat and is playing with it. She takes the cat away for her, fears that she will kill it. When Clive comes home, he notices that Dren is upset. He dances with her to cheer her up. While dancing, Clive realizes that Elsa used her own DNA to create Dren. Clive is very angry with Elsa for putting herself in the experiment. The next day, Elsa returns the cat to Dren, but surprisingly Dren kills the cat. Elsa gets angry and slaps her, Dren also attacks her. She takes the key from Elsa's neck to go out, but just when she opens the door, Elsa hit her head and tied her on a table. She decides to cut off her tail so that she can no longer be a threat to anyone. When Clive comes home, she sees Dren lying naked on the table, and her tail is cut off. He argues with his wife, then unties Dren. Later on, he monitors Darren in her room and he touches it with love on the monitor. On the other hand, Elsa has managed to extract the protein they need to make medicine from Dren's tail. She rushes back home to tell Clive what happened. Before Elsa arrives home, Clive goes ahead of Dren. Dren kisses him and Clive resists at first, but then he gives up and sleeps with Dren. At the same time Elsa arrives and is shocked when she sees this scene. She leaves the the place and Clive follows her to explain. They are arguing with each other. Clive tells Elsa that she never wanted a normal child because she is afraid that it will get out of her control. That's why she decided to create Dren and she caused all this madness. After talking, they decide to destroy Dren to turn everything back to normal. But when they return home, they see that Dren is dying. Due to its high growth rate, her life has ended. Husband and wife stay by her side when she takes her last breath. Elsa is very sad for her daughter's death. They bury the body outside. Just then, Clive's brother and the person in charge of the laboratory comes there. They found the human DNA samples in Dren's tail and come to see the created being. Elsa tells them that she is dead. But just then, a loud voice is heard from the other side. They realize that Dren is not dead and just turned into a wild male creature, just like Ginger. He kills Clive's brother and their companion in just a few seconds. He throws Clive into the lake and goes after Elsa. Soon after, he catches Elsa and uses his tail and tears Elsa's clothes and forces her. Clive arrives and hits Dren with a stick but nothing happens to him because it rebuilds itself very fast. Dren attacks Clive just when he is about to kill Clive. Elsa hits his head with a rock, then feels sad for him and she stops. Just then, Dren kills Clive with his tail before dying. A few months have passed since that incident. Elsa sits with John and he offers her a contract. It turns out that Elsa is pregnant with Dren's child. They want to use this exceptional child to discover medicine for the benefit of humankind. Elsa accepts the contract and says that she has nothing to lose. 